Hi everyone, this is Fikayo of Fikitao.com and um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you simple hide and show effect with jQuery. jQuery is an awesome JavaScript library that uh, allows you to do a lot of JavaScript work with less lines of code and uh, it's so much awesomeness. So um, I have here a box, a green box here and I have three buttons, one says hide show and toggle and as you can see right now these boxes these are buttons rather they do nothing but i'm going to be adding functionality to this button with jquery to ensure that this causes the box to hide this causes the box to show and uh, this hides and shows the box depending on the box state so um i'm going to go into my code and uh, as you can see here uh, normal HTML structure, I have my title, jQuery add and show. Now I have my jQuery library included here. You can see it's in my JS file, jQuery.js. You can actually use any version, any Java version of jQuery will work. I have uh, my CSS, small CSS here, styling my box, giving it a background color and uh, the height and width. And uh, I have the box here, which is just an empty div. And uh, these are my three buttons. My hide button has an ID of hide. My show button has an ID of show, and uh, my toggle button has an ID of toggle. So uh, you are actually. It's important that you have IDs on this or classes because that's what we're going to be using to access these three buttons. So either you set a class on it or an ID on it. So quickly, we're going to go into our head now under my. Java uh, jQuery inclusion. I'm going to open up a script tag type equals text slash JavaScript script. Good. I'm going to close it down here. Then inside my um, script tag I'm going to set the document ready in the jQuery document that ready that's ready then inside my inside here I'll set my anonymous function I'll close down I'm just add a comment here so that I can know keep track of the document flow. So it's document dot ready and here. Okay, good. So all my all the functionality I'm going to be adding to the buttons are actually going to be contained within this document dot ready. And simply I'm going to start with the hide button. I'm going to start, start with the hide button. I select the hide button with the jQuery selector, and since that's an ID of um, height, I'm going to use the CSS selector, which is what jQuery works with. It says selector to select the ID. Then I want it to hide the button. I want the uh, I want the box to be hidden when this button is clicked. So I will set a click event on this. And in my click event, I'll set an anonymous function. Curly braces here. Close my curly brace and my bracket. Put a comment here and hide and hide. I can know that as way hide hands. Now inside my hide, I'm simply going to grab the box. jQuery selector. Select the box that's an idea of box, and I'm going to call the jQuery specialized function on it called height. Save, and this simply does the trick. Now let's go over this code. The button that I expect to hide the box, 
as an ID of height. So what I'm simply doing here is I'm grabbing the button, then I'm setting a click event on it. Then in that click event, I call this anonymous function, and inside the function, I call a hide function on the box. This hide function is a jQuery special function, and it does exactly what it says. So I'm just going to save that, and uh, I'm going to check this up and refresh the page. Click the hide button, and as you can see. The box is hidden automatically. Refresh the page again. Box is back. Click hide. Goes. Good. So that's how to set a hide effect on a box. You can use it for pop ups, login forms, and all that. To just hide them when they are not uh, when you when they are not needed. Just hide several things on your page when they are not needed. This can be called uh, when the document is ready or with an event as we're doing now. So this is height. I'm simply going to copy the whole height code block. Since it's very very similar to others, I'm going to copy it again. Now here I'm going to set the show button in action. I'm going to add functionality to a show button with the ID of show. So I'm going to come here and change the idea to show. And when it's clicked, I want the button to show. This is also a jQuery specialized function, show. I did my comment to say show. So up here I have height. And below it I have show. Save the page. Go back to my browser. Refresh. Thing goes back to the default. When I click height, box is hidden when I click show the box comes back isn't that awesome hide show good now we're going to be <coughs> uh, we're going to be adding functionality to this toggle button and what toggle mainly does is that it does it shows the box when it is initially hidden or eyes the box when it is initially visible so it works on this it checks the present state of the box and does the exact opposite of that so to do that we're going to uh, back to our code and um, the same code block that worked for hide we're going to the ID for our toggle button is toggle so we're just going to go back you can give it any ID you want say toggle select toggle with CSS selector click anonymous function then uh, I want I'll be calling a jQuery specialized function of toggle on the box set this to toggle so I'll know that's where toggle ends good so as you can see I have here yeah, my code block for height show and toggle but we're not seeing the effect of toggle here so we'll simply save the page and uh, check our browser again refresh the page and you see as we click toggle the, the box now is um, presently visible once we when we click toggle it hides let me get it out click it again shows hide show hide show it's actually very very useful for content you want the users to just um uh pop open probably a login form you just you might put uh you could just write login on this and when they click it the login form shows up and if they don't have any business with it they just simply click it again and the login form hides itself you can use it in so many applications so you have here the hide show and toggle everything working smoothly cut c j query now one cool thing you can also do with uh this effect is that you can actually control the um, rate at which the effect takes place for example once you click hide you just automatically hide and show everything just blink of an eye even toggle works the same way <laughs> what we're going to be doing now is to put uh set a speed on each of this um effects now the hide show 
and toggle function can actually take arguments in time arguments in them and this time argument simply sets the duration with which the effect takes place so in my height I'm going to set time of 1000 milliseconds you actually entered values in milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is one second so I want it to hide in one second then show one second toggle let me just say one second you can use let me set 500 for toggle so just half a second so now I have speed set on each of these um, functions this one hides in a second this shows in a second and uh, this toggles in five half a second rather so I'll go back to the browser refresh the page and as you see when I click hide you see the effects creates such some sort of fading it's, it's kind of fades in when I click show show also fades out and uh, when I click toggle it's quite faster but as you can see it still fades it's not like before when everything just appears and disappears yeah so you can actually set speeds on these effects and uh, control the duration with which they take basically oh, show and hide effects are very awesome jQuery uh, function you can um, if you you can set a CSS style of um, display none on a particular element if you want it to be eaten by default then make javascript show the box by following this uh, code show the box or you can just set a toggle on it you can put this to a whole lot of awesome use so i hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial and um, i hope you're going to do a lot of fun things with this keep uh please not it out keep uh, sub subscribe to our channel and uh, Follow up our DVDs, our jQuery DVD, our JavaScript DVD, and uh, there's a whole lot more you can learn. So, wish you guys all the best.